Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let's look at this example as part of 10th grade syllabus related to coordinate geometry distance between two points. We have been given an equilateral triangle ABC. We have been given two, two points. Those are B and C vertices. We have been given their coordinates. That is one is 0, 0. Another is 3, comma root 3. We have to find out the other coordinate. So let us say that's equal to x comma y. Now what's the approach we'll follow here? We know the property of equilateral triangle that is all the sides are equal. So can I say AB is equal to BC equal to AC. That means square of them also should be equal. AB square is equal to BC square equal to AC square. Now our first step will be to find out all these distances. Equate them. We have three equations. We have two variables to find out. We have two equations and two variables. We will get three, three, condi three, three distances we are getting. So we can form two conditions. Two conditions, two variables. We should be able to solve it. So first let's find out AB square. What is AB square I am writing here? AB square is equal to x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square. I'll write it down. x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square which is equal to x square plus y square. And next what is bc square? bc square is equal to 3 minus 0 whole square plus root 3 minus 0 whole square. That's equal to 3 square plus root 3 whole square which is equal to 9 plus 3 12. Let's go to AC square now. What is AC square? AC square is equal to A and C. Can I say x minus 3 whole square plus y minus root 3 whole square. This is AC square. So we will equate 2 at a time and our first we will say that AB square is equal to AC square that will give us one condition. The other condition we will use is we will say that AB square is equal to BC square. So first we will try to use AB square equal to AC square and try to get a relation between X and Y which we are going to substitute in AB square equal to BC square and get the values of X and Y. So what is AB square? We know x square plus y square. So let me write it down. x square plus y square is equal to x minus 3 whole square. So let me open it up. x square minus 6x plus 9 plus y square minus 2 root 3y plus 3 so we have AB square equal to AC square. So can I cancel X square plus Y square on both the sides? I will have, if I take 6X and 2 root 3Y to that side, I will have 6X plus 2 root 3Y is equal to 12. If I divide by 6, I will have X plus Y by root 3 equal to 2. So we divided by 6, 6 into X. 2 root 3 by 6, 2 will go 3 times, root 3 by 3 is 1 by root 3, 6 will go 2 times. Now what we will do, this x plus y by root 3 equal to 2, whatever we have condition, from that we will get y and will substitute it in, in terms of x. So my next step will be, we'll write down ab square x square plus y square is equal to bc square, that's equal to 12. Now x square plus instead of y I want to write down y in terms of x. So can I say y equal to root 3 into 2 minus x. We should be okay with that because y by root 3 is 2 minus x. y equal to root 3 into 2 minus x. So I can substitute here. I will have root 3 whole square into 2 minus x whole square equal to 12. If we open this up, we'll have x square plus 3 into 2 minus x whole square or can I say 3 into x minus 2 whole square equal to 12. So we'll open up x square plus 3 into x square minus 4x plus 4 
is equal to 12. So the next step will be x square plus x square plus 3 into x square 3 x square minus 12 x plus 12 equal to 12. Can I say 4 x square minus 12 x equal to 12 12 cancel equal to 0 or can I say 4 x into x minus 3 equal to 0 therefore x equal to 0 or x equal to 3. So, if x equal to 0, what will be the value? So, we will write down that if x equal to 0, put x equal to 0, where is our y? y equal to, we will write down here what we got, y equal to root 3 into 2 minus x. So, if I substitute x equal to 0, y will be 2 comma 2 root 3, that will be one coordinate. The other one will be, if I put x equal to 3, I will have 2 minus 3 minus 1 that will be minus root 3. So, the values of x comma y are 0 comma 2 root 3 comma 3 comma minus root 3. So, why we have 2 point 2 why we have 2 points because when it is an equilateral triangle we can have the point on, on the on, on this quad, quadrant or we can also have it in this also. So, we can have we can have A to above of BC or I can also have A below BC. So, we have two options. So, that is the values of x comma y. Let me summarize this. We have been given equilateral triangle. We have been told that the vertices are 0 comma 0, 3 comma root 3. We have to find out the third vertex, coordinates of the third vertex. So, what we have done, we know equilateral triangle property, all the sides are equal. AB equal to BC equal to AC. Square it up, AB square equal to BC square equal to AC square. We have written down what is AB square, what is BC square, what is AC square. We used AB square equal to AC square. We found out a relation between X and Y, that Y equal to root 3 into 2 minus X. Once we know that, we went to AB square equal to BC square because on BC square we have constant term there 12. So, we have converted Y in terms of X and solved for linear equation in one variable it we became and we got 4X equal to 12 and X equal to 3. It is actually we got an quadratic equation where constant terms are cancelling and we got we got 4x square minus 12x equal to 0 or I take 4x common we got x equal to 0 or x equal to 3. So, once we got x equal to x 0 or x equal to 3 we can go back to y equal to root 3 into y equal to root 3 into 2 minus x substitute x value if x equal to 0 y equal to 2 root 3 if x equal to 3 y equal to minus root 3. So, that is one interesting example I thought of sharing related to coordinate geometry distance between points. How to find out the third vertex of an equilateral triangle. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.